I'm going to start by taking a big old drink of the water because whatever's in it, I think we all want. Uh, the Casey's water. Last night uh, here at this Casey's store in Bondurant, um, someone who had bought a Powerball ticket won $202.1 million. You know, we're very excited, you know, uh, to have a winner from Casey's and also, you know, being an Iowa based company to have a winner in Iowa, you know, so that's, you know, what really excited us this morning when we first heard about the big news and actually all the big winners in, in the state. So, um, we're very excited to be a part of this, definitely. And what about the rumor mill? Is it in overdrive yet? It's starting to really kick in. Yeah, we've had a lot of phone calls and uh, and people, you know, starting to kind of scamper in and check their tickets. So we're, we're anxious to find out who the winner was. But the good news didn't stop there. And that's really, I think, the even more unusual side of this story. Last night in Iowa, we had a Powerball jackpot winner. We had a million dollar Powerball winner in Williamsburg. We had a 10,000 Powerball winner. Um, and that one was in Hiawatha. And then just for good measure, we had a top prize winner in Iowa's $100,000 cash game. And that ticket was bought in Fort Madison. So last night in two drawings, we had four big winners. I don't think that's ever happened before here in Iowa. Not to mention that this is Iowa's second jackpot winner in Powerball just this year alone. The question is, is it you? That's what, that's what everybody wants to know. That's the $202.1 million question. Casey's will get $11,000 from the lottery as a bonus, $10,000 for selling the jackpot winner and $1,000 for selling that million dollar winner in Williamsburg. The jackpot is going up higher. These million dollar winners are great. This is the 10th ticket winning at least a million dollars in Iowa this year alone. All of that really gets people talking and, and makes people just think about playing the lottery and maybe winning, as somebody here did. We, we have a very strong local uh, customer base. We also get a lot of people coming in from Marshalltown, uh, from Ankeny, and just kind of, it's kind of a nice little hub for those, those uh, outlying cities heading to and from Des Moines. Tell me about kind of the reaction of, of the people who are working inside. I'm guessing when something like this happens, they all kind of sure. compare notes. Who, who do you think it was type of thing or what? They're trying. I mean, we really don't have much to base it on because, you know, it, it's uh, not really sure when we sold it, but you know, everyone's very excited and we've got a lot of phone calls and, and uh, we had a few employees already check their tickets and unfortunately they, they haven't won. Do so you already have members of the public calling and saying, Definitely, oh yeah, the phone's been ringing off the hook, so, yep. Tickets of this size, if it's more than $250,000, that ticket has to be claimed at Lottery Headquarters. So the person from Williamsburg and the person from here in Bondurant will need to claim that prize in downtown Des Moines at our headquarters building. That process is usually pretty quick. Um, but first of all, they need to keep that ticket in a safe place. Do not let anything happen to that ticket because you have to have the ticket to claim the prize. And then, you know, it really depends on the individual. We always tell our winners, um, you know, consult a financial advisor, talk with a lawyer. $200 million, you know, Bo was saying before the news conference, this is a life-changing amount of money. We want to make sure that the winner is prepared for what will come. And in general, our winners have done just that here in Iowa. We haven't had a lot of winners who have come in right away. They usually take their time, they get their ducks in a row. So it'll be interesting to see, will it be you know, a group of winners like we had from Cedar Rapids earlier this year, or will it be an individual? Those are all the fun details that, that we can't wait to find out along with the rest of the state.